Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Okay guys, as we have discussed yesterday, uh, I said that today I decided to dedicate the research the Euro Japanese Yen pair because the price action here is also significant and very interesting and besides uh, Euro Japanese Yen is uh, some kind of the uh, Euro analysis also but we uh, will not talk about it very often I will give you the setup that is now is developing here and I think that you could manage it by yourself uh, the one problem with the current setup is that I do not have the significant experience of trading such patterns especially on the euro uh, Japanese yen pair so there are some nuances and surprises could appear but we have discussed uh, the general setup how in common situation this should develop uh, but with the uh, step by step we'll, we will discuss also uh, where some surprises could come on the current price section well on the daily time frame some sort of the preliminary preliminary uh, analysis is that maybe you remember that previously a couple of weeks ago we said that here could be the double repo pattern on the weekly time frame on the euro, euro Japanese yen pair and that in fact it was double repo uh, and a particular um, I, I have the short position with it but market haven't quite reached even target of this ABCD pattern because D point stands somewhere in this area slightly below this level although theoretically market uh, should reach much deeper level as the double repo target when I have seen that market wasn't able just uh, even to, to continue move below this low and starting to show some uh, fast acceleration in the opposite direction that tells me that the double repo pattern will not reach the target because this price action was absolutely uncommon and unnatural for the double repo uh, and uh, it was obvious that market will accelerate in opposite direction and since this low has held that has turned to the butterfly cell well you can see this is really tremendous acceleration to the upside that tells us a couple of things first of all is that this level, the 1618 extension of the butterfly, probably will be reached and stand around 132, 80, 133 area. Because you can see this leg is really significant, really fast acceleration. When you see such sort of direction right to the 127 target, it tells you that probably market will proceed to the 1618. That's the first observation. The second moment is that here we now stand at the resistance since it's 1127 extension and probably we could get some retracement to the downside but what is more significant here is that level of overbought on the euro Japanese yen pair you will not find such sort of the overbought such strong overbought on this pair with the long long period or even if you will find it at all because you can see previously this was normal price action that is held by this overbought line but here it was really extended move beside of the overbought beyond of the overbought line and that what Jod Napoli calls as the volatility breakout pattern and it uh, tells uh, he tells about it with the man we have discussed in, in his book the uh, application of the detrended oscillator so you can see when the detrended oscillator shows the real exceeding of the common level of the overbought condition that is some sort of the volatility breakout so it's not just uh, some some sort of the slight penetration of the uh, overbought condition it's not just the some sort of action but that is really uh, changing the level of overbought for the long period that's why it's called uh, volatility breakout and the major setup there uh, general rule how to trade it is when the market will show the initial thrust up wherever it will stop wherever it will finish this initial thrust that shows the breakout of the volatility 
wait for the retracement to the downside. Usually, uh, since this is really extended move and a lot of different emotions and really a significant power expressed with this move, uh, usually retracement is deep, some sort of a 50% or even 618 retracement. And the general idea of trading volatility breakout is the taking position with this retracement and uh, taking the profit at the minor target, the 618 extension of, of the pattern of the ABCD pattern that will be formed by the volatility breakout initial swing. That is general setup. If we will take a look at the 4 hour time frame, you'll see that uh, there are two different levels to watch for. The 618 level stands uh, 123.36, is right here. But here we also have the confidence support, is uh, 126, 125 area. And since uh, I have not big experience with trading volatility breakout on the Euro Japanese yen pair, I'm not sure that market will show real uh, retracement right to the 618. Maybe it will show it just to the confidence support. That's why I think uh, I, I have used this level as the potential destination of this retracement. And if you will take a look at this extension, A, B, C bottom, the minor target, 618, stands precisely at 1618 extension on the daily butterfly. It's around 133 area. It's right here. That also makes me think, first of all, to monitor and to keep an eye on this level as the potential retracement target. The major problem uh, currently with this setup is uh, to catch the end of the initial thrust, to catch the end the volatility breakout impulse move. Because right from this le leg, uh, some retracement should start. And uh, since we stand now at resistance at the first target of the butterfly, some sort of the reversal pattern or pattern that could trigger the retracement down should appear. Initially I thought that could be the double repo sell because this is really significant thrust but currently I do not have even first close below the 3x3. Three three. So here we do not have the close below the 3x3. Three three. Maybe this will be some sort of the 3 drive or some sort of the wage pattern I do not know. But currently uh, the problem is that we do not have any retracement, some reversal pattern right here that could trigger this bounce down. All that we have is just resistance and significant level of overbought that was broken on the daily time frame. So our primary task now is to wait for, uh, wait for appearing of the pattern that could trigger the retracement. And the second task is to enter with this ending leg of this retracement, as we could call it the BC leg, enter in the direction of the initial thrust up with the target, the minor target of the ABCD pattern, with 618 extension. That is what I intend to do on the European Japanese yen. Uh, so, um, and this setup is called as uh, volatility breakout. That's why it's rather interesting. Uh, especially it is interesting because it coincides with the butterfly sale on the Europe Japanese uh, pair. Also, that tells me why uh, I think that the euro currency to the relation to the United States dollar should proceed higher, as we said, around to the around 130 to 50 area. That is also possible. And uh, this situation is also makes me think why euro currency should show the retracement as well. I mean, in the relation to the United States dollar, because now it's forming some sort of reversal pattern uh, here. So some pullback bounce down on the euro currency is also possible. So that is mm, my trading plan for the uh, nearest term, maybe today, for today, tomorrow, uh, trading uh, tr trading sessions. So that's particularly the patterns that I will monitor and trying to catch the entry point to join the continuation to the upside.